Hello there, Mad Mike here, and welcome back to the channel. And uh, today we are going to talk about some more Star Wars slash Marvel news. Um, and as usual, it is not anything that is remotely good. Um, it is actually probably concerning uh, in most cases, so this is no exception. Um, and it's kind of a two-parter now because the, some things have been starting to get dredged up that were uh, rumored a while back. And again, the rumor mill tends to do these things. It tends to just, you know, drag shit up from the past. Everything's cyclical. Um, so... Today it was announced uh, by uh, Disney slash Lucasfilm that Kevin Feige, who is the uh, leader of the MCU, uh, is going to be collaborating with Kathleen Kennedy to produce a new Star Wars film. Now we're not sure what film uh, this is actually going to be. Is this going to be the rumored uh, Ryan Johnson trilogy, or is this going to be the Dunny Off and Weiss trilogy, or is this another film that we haven't yet heard of, because uh, Bob Iger admits we had too much Star Wars too fast, but he's willing to greenlight six films that are going to be premiering in six consecutive years. Um, and uh, th this entire thing has, has led to people thinking that uh, Fihi could uh, leave Marvel at this point because, uh, for whatever reason, and jump over to Star Wars, and Kathleen Kennedy can, you know, ride off into the sunset uh, since she shits so bad all over that franchise that nobody wanted her fucking job. Uh, and this is, uh, I, I think it's something that could be plausible because Kevin Fihi is basically Disney's golden boy at this point. Um, Bob Iger loves him. Uh, we've been, uh, you know, a lot of the stuff involving, uh, or some of the major stuff involving his promotion to his current position, uh, was said by Iger in his book, uh, which I went over in a previous video. Um, now, uh, the other thing is that, uh, Fihi himself was rumored to be replacing Kathleen Kennedy, uh, before, uh, Disney chose to give her that three-year extension last year. Uh, and the reasoning for uh, why he was not chosen was because they wanted to keep him with Marvel because of Infinity War and Endgame. Um, but now that he is through that um, and these other uh, projects are already in development, uh, I think it is possible that they could switch him over. Because, um, again, they do really enjoy him. Uh, he's ba Again, he's basically their golden boy, uh, and Kathleen Kennedy is basically the excess baggage they have to keep around uh, for another three years because she's poisoned that position to the point where nobody is willing to take it. Um, in addition to you know running the Star Wars franchise into the ground and destroying the PR department, uh, she's filled the entire Lucasfilm offices with her cronies uh, so that even if somebody was to take office, uh, all of those people would inevitably rebel and make that person's job a living hell, which is uh, the reasoning uh, that was given why J.J. Abrams and Dave Filoni apparently uh, both turned down the offer to head Lucasfilm. Uh, but... Again, a lot of that is hearsay, but I think it is possible they could switch him over uh, because Star Wars is such a shit show and they think that he can fix it because basically they think he can do anything, um, even though it's become it's starting to become much more obvious uh, now that he has achieved the position that he is at, um, that he is steering the Marvel franchise towards the destruction that the Star Wars franchise has already experienced. Uh, so... I don't really think he's going to help matters at all, um, and I'd be curious to see what movie he's actually going to be working on. Now, the other thing uh, that is coming out of the woodwork about this, uh, which is, I think is complete bullshit and complete stupidity, um, is that people are starting to push uh, the idea for Brie Larson to be the headliner for the Kevin Feige uh, produced film. Uh, now, here's the thing, is that I feel like this is a lot of people white knighting uh, for a purpose, uh, and that is that uh, recently there have been rumors that have been coming out that Brie Larson's uh, Captain Marvel has lost faith or Disney has lost faith in the character, uh, and they were relying a lot on Spider-Man, who they've now lost to Sony. Uh, and there's also rumors swirling around that, too, that they're trying to actually buy the rights to the character back and some various things. Uh, because 
uh, it was very obvious that they had large narrative plans for Peter Parker, uh, and apparently, uh, from what I understand, again, the, these are these are rumors, but they they could be plausible, uh, is that there was supposed to be a new Big Four now that uh, Thor is kind of riding off into the sunset a bit. Um, you know, Captain America and Iron Man are both out of the picture, and Hulk is basically kind of relegated to like a side character. Um, and those big four were supposed to be Doctor Strange, Captain Marvel, uh, Spider-Man, and Black Panther. And now that you've lost Spider-Man, uh, he was kind of expected to carry this thing as kind of the new Iron Man. Uh, and again, they make that very obvious with the films where he has this very close connection with Tony Stark and, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, basically kind of taking the mantle and stuff like that. So it's it would make sense. Um but because they've lost him now, uh, they don't have as much faith in Brie Larson because they know exactly why Captain Marvel broke a billion dollars. They're not idiots. They know exactly why it broke a billion dollars. And they're concerned that without more popular characters like Spider-Man, that Captain Marvel will fail. Um, and they're trying to move away from the complete fiasco that was the... Uh, press junket for the Captain Marvel film, uh, the production of it, which was uh, not bad, but, uh, you know, it, it obviously had hiccups. Uh, we all knew about the butt double and various other things. Uh, so there's a lot to question there, and it makes sense that they would question it. Now, I the, the flip side of that is the people that are the Brie Larson defenders who are uh, waning in number, but they do still exist, and many of them also have positions in various media companies um, because they like to, to push the narrative that she likes to push, which, which is the feminist agenda and things like that, but uh, I think that's the people that are trying to push this story for Brie Larson and Star Wars. This was something that came up uh, a couple months ago during the opening of Galaxy's Edge where Brie Larson said, I'm ready for Star Wars, and there was a picture of her with like a homemade lightsaber thing and like Jedi robes and stuff. And everybody immediately jumped to the conclusion, oh, she's going to be in the new Star Wars and stuff like that. She's going to jump franchise. She's going to be in Star uh, Marvel and Star Wars. Um, and nothing ever really came of it. It dipped back down because obviously it was kind of just a publicity thing for, for Galaxy's Edge. I get that. Um, you know, she's a high-profile actress, you're pushing her a lot for films, so it would make sense to have her do something like that, and then you could you could put it up as advertising. I understand that completely. But people ran with it when they probably shouldn't have, and then it developed into a story, and now it is coming up again, uh, I think, in a direct knee-jerk reaction to uh, the rumors about them moving away from Captain Marvel. And... <sighs> I think the people that are running with it are running with it because it's clickbait. I don't think they're running with it because they think it's a legitimate story. In fact, most of the articles that I've read on it uh, admit that this is a very serious rumor and it's probably bullshit. So I would not, uh, I would not consider this uh, to be valid in any sense uh, until we see something official. So you know, th there's just there's a whole whirlwind around this whole thing, and. Honestly, I don't think this changes a whole lot between either franchise because, I mean, I, I like I've said, I've done videos before of, you know, Marvel is just keeps putting the nails in the coffin over and over again. Um, and if half the rumors that have turned out, to, you know, there's been some rumors that have turned out to be true, like the Miss Marvel rumors for D23. Um, and, you know, if we see more of these rumors like the Ironheart series and other stuff that's starting to come out. If we see that these become true as well, you know, Marvel is going to go the way of Star Wars. Star Wars currently is basically a dead brand. Um, you know, it doesn't move, uh, it doesn't move merchandise anywhere close to what it should. Um, and that goes into a lot of, you know, the, 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 try them trying to change their main demographic, which never works, uh, in, 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 at least not in the way that they tried to do it. Um, but it, they, they can't keep the Star Wars is, is, is going to, is basically been destroyed. It's been driven into the ground. I do not expect, uh, episode nine to make, to break the billion mark, which would be a severe blow, uh, for Disney. Although I have a funny feeling that it might break a billion if they uh, do their whole little uh, buyout thing where they boost their own numbers. Um, 
but I don't think it's not going to do the money Last Jedi did. Uh, I think in reality, uh, assuming Disney doesn't uh, doesn't fudge their own numbers again, uh, this movie is probably going to do somewhere in the 800 million range, which would be a massive uh, underperformance in Disney's eyes for a Star Wars film, considering that we've gone now from Force Awakens that made two billion dollars to Last Jedi that made 1.3, to uh, Rise of Skywalker, which could make under a billion. So, the, the, But all of these rumors surrounding this entire thing are just... It's more uh, shit to put in the shit pot, basically. It's not... It, 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 none of this means really anything, except that there is the possibility that Kevin Feige ha could move over into the Star Wars franchise and take that over, possibly leaving Marvel to somebody else. That's the only plausible thing uh, to take from all the news that has come out today about all of this stuff. And uh, really, that's all I'm taking away from it, is, is that. Until we get more information on these other things, if they have merit, um, then... We will uh, we will see how that goes, but uh, I want to know your opinion. Uh, do you think Kevin Feige can do anything for the Star Wars franchise? Do you think it's dead? Um, do you think that you know Marvel is is going down that route as well? Uh, you know, leave your thoughts in the comments. Again, I like to know what you're thinking. Uh, hit the bell for notifications. Hit the like button. Subscribe and remember, I live my life free of compromise. Do you?